antibiotics remain essential to modern medicine, saving millions of lives. However, experts believe that antibiotic resistance jeopardizes these advances. A team at the Soplaiki University took samples at three wastewater treatment plants in Kimberley. They used the environmental DNA method to extract DNA from wastewater, which detected antibiotic-resistant bacteria. This is why the, the research is interesting, uh, because um, there's been a lot of development, technological ad advancement in developing antibiotics for the treatment of various infections in humans and in animals. So the emergence and uh, occurrence of uh, antibiotic resistance, it means it uh, is a blow to that uh, technological advancement. Uh, what it implies is that a lot of antibiotics that are used to control and manage infections in humans and animals will not be very effective. The irresponsible disposal of drugs has been singled out as among the many factors that contribute to resistance. If not treated, experts say the resistant bacteria can also harm the environment. It's an irresponsible disposal of, um, of drugs and antibiotics in particular can cause that. Uh, this can be at household level by individuals who have been given therapeutic or prescriptive uh, uh, anti anti um, antibiotics. Or it can be uh, from ph pharmaceutical companies they can dispose of uh, effluent that is contaminated, usually with high concentrations of uh, uh, antibiotics. The other source could be farmlands as well, runoff from farms. Uh, there are a lot of antibiotics that are used to control uh, diseases in animals. The research offers significant potential to improve wastewater treatment practices locally. Residents are encouraged to adhere to household solid waste management practices. After using my tablets and I see that they have expired, I threw them away in the toilet, I flushed them away. I was not that way. I thought that's the only way because when I throw them away, it's for the kids not to get to get them in their hands because I know it's dangerous for them to use the tablets. I put it in the toilet and flush it because someone might pick up the bean or scratch the bean and take out the medication or for the sake of the kids. That's why I'm flushing it. You can throw them in the toilet, then you flush them. Professor Chaukura has urged community members not to dispose of their medication irresponsibly, but rather return it to their clinics for safe disposal. He says the latest findings suggest that scientists need to be more innovative in developing new technologies that can address antimicrobial resistance. Karabo Sioko, SABC News, Kimberley.